Hi vlog, welcome to our crib. Come on in. So you are greeted by the grand foyer with this beautiful detailed wallpaper and a quirky. I'll show you more, come on. Beautiful Calcutta wrapped rich bathroom. Love. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really what is this called? Brass, the brass hardware. I'm stunning. really intrigued by this toilet. Why? Because there was a button in there that said toilet on. Oh, it's the light. I'm fucking oh. stupid. Oh, we have little, we have matching robes. Oh my god. Wait, we never looked, Wait, in, we never looked in there. <gasps> it's a closet. <laughs> Wait, it's really cute. It's like giving like. Fun. It's giving like Barbie doll. We're living out our Barbie dreams in New York. Now into the bedroom. Look, a doorway that fits your head. <laughs> hey, in New York City, that's very impressive. They have a mat for you to put your feet on before you get into bed. Do I have a mat on this side? Yeah, you do. Oh, we both yeah. do. Guys, I love this hotel. It's so chic. Wait, should we open the curtains and show them what's? What yeah. Is? is there a button? I fucking hope so. <laughs> I mean, probably if they have a, a chocolate sculpture yeah, for us. Yeah, a button. It's not opening. It's probably on the little iPad. Temperature, makeup room. What's what? that? That's a makeup room. Huh. Oh, right here. Uh oh. This is a makeup grade in. Oh, is that a vanity? Grade in. Why is there a red light in this? Oh, <laughs> Why is there a red camera. light? They're filming us. No. What's that? I want to. Wait, I that. think that's a TV actually. Wait, look. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is a speaker. Okay. Period. How do you open the fucking? Lines. Privacy. Um. Oh, usually they're next to the bed. No. No button. What's our view? A building. Okay, go off. Fuck it. Anyway, you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I've been talking about this week for a very long time, and I'm so excited to be in New York. We just got off the flight. And we have dinner reservation at 7.30, so we kind of got to go 6.36 right now. How cute is this hotel? We're staying at Fouquet's. I don't know if that's how you even pronounce it. It's so cute. It's like a little French hotel. This bathroom is stunning, and I just love it. Wait, do you think everybody... You know how they're speaking French? Yeah. Do you think they only hire people who speak French? Probably. That's hot. Hi guys. What's up? Look at these crazy clips I've been using. Damn. I know. They like really keep my hair out of my face though. Like those other little ones, you know these ones right here? These like don't keep my hair out of my face. You know? No, because I don't have that prop on. Oh yeah. A little bit of makeup time. Okay guys, outfit of the night. We're running, well we gotta leave like right now because we got off the plane and our dinner reservation's at 7.30. Luckily it's 10 minutes away. We'll be like five minutes late. But this is my outfit tonight. My jeans are girlfriend denim. I have on vintage Chanel heels, a little revolve like top. I just did one button and then this like lace bra underneath. Tonight's like a chill night. I'm meeting up with some friends for dinner. And I have my little schoolboy. I'm in oh, love with the schoolboy. Can I please bump up the green on my chest? <laughs> Hi guys. Cheers. <laughs> Wait. Cheers. I can't believe that's the martini. <laughs> no, I'm so done. This is a full size martini. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god. How do you feel about that being a full size martini? <laughs> <laughs> 
so bad. Thank you. <laughs> you guys. It's me. Hey guys, I'm back. Love ya. Love you. Love you. Bye. Wait. I feel like people don't know where that came from. Love what? you, bye. Like, it Are came we? from us. Yeah. Yeah. Like me and Emma's podcast. All of, it's yeah. all of us. All of us. Guys, we all Guys, started Love You, Bye. Well, Jean Lee, which we haven't heard from. Hey. Oh my god! I literally we haven't heard from her. Creative like, is Jean Lee okay? Jean Lee, if you're watching. Jean Lee, if you're watching, if you're, okay. if you're, watching, you're oh the god. reason. Love ya. Wait, ready? <laughs> Love ya. Bye. I wish Emma was here. Thank you. Wait, guys, Jean that's like Lee. Oh my god, wait. Hey, Jean Lee, if you're here, I love you so much. If you're here as if he's a ghost, Jean Lee, if you hear us, move something. <laughs> I love you, Jean Lee. <laughs> Bye. I miss you guys. Bye. Um, can I have a little Should we say grace? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Wait, no. Wait. <gasps> Thank you. Bucky, bye. <laughs> Where's my Is it? It's this good. Is so good. It's giving like marshmallow. <gasps> Stop, guys. It's like a little marshmallow vibe. Wait, guys, it's giving angel. Guys. <gasps> So okay, good. so vanilla meringue, peanut butter and fluff, and a little bit of peppermint tea. Look at it, Liv. It's steaming. No, it's like burning her mouth. Oh my god, I just burned all my taste buds off. Oh my god. No, it's the hottest thing I've ever put. It's good though. And we got pumpkin pie. Great and good idea. It's giving me cream. Hi, little punky. It's giving meringue. Happy fall. We just got back to the hotel. So we're in the studio <laughs> and we're like, what are we gonna do tomorrow? And I was like, let's check out the pool. The pool's closed, and then I was like, let's go to the gym. Because you guys know, like I'm like going to the gym now. <laughs> Our hotel has dog pound. Hi. And I was like, wait, we're gonna work out tomorrow. So we just found the gym. Honestly, it's really cool that it's open till 12. Catch us here tomorrow morning. Kesha? No, catch us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, <laughs> who remembers the song Daddy Kesha Love? By, wait, I heard that Sean Kingston like fell off the face of the earth because he got in a really bad, um, no, 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 jet ski accident, Fuck. right? And then he like stopped making music. No, I saw him in an interview. Oh, well, yeah. Probably his first Sean. one. You, Mr. Kingston. But we were singing that. Ayo, Sean. You, Mr. Kingston. Me tomorrow. I don't know. I'm screaming. I'm fucking screaming. I wonder if we can book a trainer. I weights because they're going to hit the fucking ceiling. Hi. Do you think it's free? Obviously, like, they're not gonna charge you for these. What if they, what if Yay. They Yay! They're not gonna. Oh my god. We're getting breakfast at the hotel. This is the best latte. It's just a latte with almond milk, and it's so good. I got this smoked salmon plate. It's big. I know. What'd you get? An omelet. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, I went back there and made it. <laughs> no, we'll like, pick out what's in it. It's cheese, mushrooms, and onion. Yum. I just got back from breakfast. I need to get, do a little bit of makeup and then head out to go to my tattoo appointment. Okay, there's Evian, which I'm not complaining about the water being all over our hotel room, but there's just Evian all over, and I don't know if I'm a huge Evian fan. I don't know what it is. It has like a weird little... Doesn't it have like a weird little taste? I have a piece of pepper stuck in my fucking throat. Pepper. Pepper. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Pepper thing. Okay, so I'm getting three tattoos today and I'm really excited. I'm going to the guy that I got my tattoo. Well, 
I feel like maybe not everybody knows. I have three tattoos right now. I have an E. Me and Emma have matching, two matching tattoos. I have an E right here on my wrist and she has an M on her wrist. And then I have this, which honestly is like so bad. It's a Roman numeral three for me, Emma and Mike, our brother. And I got this one on a whim. Like I just walked into a tattoo place and I was like, oh, I want this. This was like in 2018, like years ago. And this was my second tattoo. My first tattoo I got in 2017. And then 2019, I got a tattoo on my hip, like right here that says presence. Me and Emma have matching ones and I'm going back to the guy that did my tattoo, my presence tattoo in New York. And I am getting three little tattoos from him today. And I'm really excited because I've been wanting, honestly, I've been wanting to come for a while and I've been thinking about getting new ones since I feel like honestly since like right when the pandemic started, I was like gonna come and get more done and then obviously all that stuff happened. So I didn't end up doing it. So now I'm like, okay, the time has come and I'm gonna go get all my little tattoos that I wanna get. But I'll show you guys them and explain the meaning and stuff once I get them done. But I'm just putting on a little bit of sunscreen. It's really nice out today and I'm gonna walk to the tattoo what is it called the tattoo parlor <laughs> but i'm gonna walk there with Liv. she's gonna come meet me and then we're gonna walk together it's not that far it's like probably 20 minute walk and it's really nice up today so i feel like now i'm so conscious of i don't know like what i'm saying and how i'm talking because there's been so many tiktoks going around of like people making fun of like how influencers talk and I've been tagged in it a million times and I feel like I don't well I don't talk like this in real life or do like the pauses and say hey guys um so like you know what I'm saying so now that I am obviously aware of that because I've been tagged in it a million times I'm like subconsciously I feel like thinking about the way that I talk when I'm talking, which is making me talk even slower. So I'm sorry if it is annoying to you guys. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna get ready right now and do my makeup. I have a shop my highlight also with all of my makeup saved, like my everyday makeup routine and the products that I use all the time. I've been using the same product, so I have it linked. I will link it down below for you guys if you want to try any of them, but all of them are so good. Like, you know when you feel really good about a makeup routine <laughs> and you're like, makes you excited to get ready because you just like love all the shades on you and you like all the products. I feel like that's how I feel right now. I've just been like loving doing my makeup because of that, but okay, I'm gonna go do it and then I'll be back. This is my outfit today, rag and bone jeans. I'm wearing black Sambas. I don't love black sneakers on me but it is what it is. And then I have on a little belt. T-shirt from Rag and Bone. Sweater is Jenny Kane. Use code Maggie15 for 15% off. And then my old YSL sunglasses that I actually get so many compliments on, but they're from 2019. I'm gonna see if I can find them for you guys because they're really cute. Off we go. Yeah. Okay, Maggie's getting tatted up. Wait, show them what you said to Mac. Show them what Mac said. Oh. <laughs> Mac is so silly. First, I get the good morning. Oh, I miss him. Keep making videos and TikToks the way you have been. Everything has came out so beautiful. Something good will come from it. Oh. Wait. Wait. At my tattoo appointment, he goes, okay. <laughs> We'll check back in in a bit. Lunch at San Ambrose. We're having a big salad. This one looks so good. 
We all got sides of salmon. Got that pig girl. This looks so good. Yum. Okay, look at the palm green. That's so. I know, that's why I got it. Looks, looks so good. good. Just got back to the hotel. Oh, I just took a shower, took off all my makeup that I was wearing earlier, which feels so good. You know, like after you're walking around all day. I was chilling great and I'm like, I swear I shower so often. Like I literally take one in the morning, I take one in the afternoon, I take one at night before bed. But yeah, I had to change the band-aid on one of my tattoos because it was like getting caught on my clothes and I showered and it started to come off. But anyway, I wanna show you guys my tattoos. So one on my right wrist, one on my right hand. This is an M. They're gonna fade just from like washing my hands a lot, but this is what it looks like right now. I really love it and I got a little star, super cute. And then on this side, right here, I got a tattoo that says nine, which is my lucky number, it always has been my whole life. And I've always wanted to get a tattoo that says nine. So I just got it spelled out right here. We tried the tattoo on a bunch of different places. Like originally I thought I wanted it on this wrist right here. But then I was like, you know what? Well, I wasn't gonna get this here. I originally was gonna get this on this hand, but then I was like one day, like when I get married, and I don't know, I feel like it just, I don't wanna have tattoos on this hand and stuff. So I got it on my right hand and then I got this. We tried the nine right here and it just looked so close to this tattoo, which is like obviously big, or not big, but like dark. So we tried it right here and I was like looking in the mirror and I was like, wait, even though this is on the side, I don't like it right there. And then we also tried, I think right here or right here. I forget which side, but I was like, wait, I actually really like this rather than like the back of my arm. But anyway, those are my tattoos. Also, I go to Tattoo by Chang on Instagram. That's his Instagram, but it's called Tattoo For You New York City. He used to work at West 4 Tattoo, but he doesn't work there anymore. He works at a different place, like literally right around the corner from where he used to in the West Village. But... Yeah, I'm really happy with my tattoos. They didn't even hurt at all. And I just love the way that they look. And I can't wait for the three days to be over so I can take off these band-aids because they're like bothering me, but it's okay. Just got ready for dinner. Guys, my hair, I, I don't think I've done like a slick back bun this good since my slick back bun days. Like two years ago, 2021, I feel like was like my year of the slick back bun because I cut my hair so short back then, it was literally up to here. And I was like so subconscious because so many people made fun of me. And I just like put it back in a bun every single day because I couldn't deal with it. I was like, I hate my hair, but it looks really good tonight. And I just like the way that my makeup turned out tonight. I didn't really like it last night, but anyway, I wanna show you guys my outfit before we head out. I am wearing this blazer from the Frankie shop. This is the B blazer, these are my favorite blazers. They are oversized, they give you that perfect look. Like, come on. I love it. And my top is from Orson Dyrus. My skirt is Daniel Guzio and my heels are from the Attico. Like, what the? Look at this heel grade in. Period. That's fucked up. And we're heading out to go to dinner somewhere in West Village. And I'm really excited. Do -do -do. I'm gonna take a little Instagram pic before we leave. And then Grady wants to go get a little quacky. A quacky. Really... Hey. Oh. Love you. Cheers, Cheers to us. Cheers to fucking us. Yeah. Guys, I've been craving French onion soup. I've never had it before. I'm trying a lot of new things today. Yeah. We're at Balthazar. I love this place. Never and never. literally every single time I come to New York, I come here. The food is so good. I feel like it's like obvious, like this place is just like a famous, iconic restaurant. But 
I'm trying things that I have never had before. My little snail. No way. Oh my god, wait, there's no snail in mine. <laughs> wait, I can't get it out. Liv, I can't get my nose. <laughs> wait, I'm scared. Mine's alive still, you guys. Wait, Graydon. <gasps> Graydon, mine literally just made a noise. Wait. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared because I love oh. oysters. Oh, These are probably clean and Oh, I put mine on bread. Well, I'm going to put it on the table. Okay, it's really good. French onion soup reveal. Oh, yeah, it's really good. I mean, drink. Bye. Thank you. We just got back to the hotel. Look at Hi. We just got back and we're exhausted. Oh my god. I just took a shower. I wasn't even wearing makeup. We're laying. I'm so tired. And lunch was really good. I feel very satisfied. It's 4 15 right now. We're gonna go to Peyton's game later. It's the opening night for the NBA. Well, for Celtics, it's their opening night versus the Knicks. So I'm excited to go to the game. I really want to wear my new coat. I'll show you guys. I like have an obsession with pink. This place is just making me like overthink. I mean not overthink, rethink my whole entire house. I'm like I want pops of pink. I just love like the velvet, the green, this like funky light right here. Funky. I love it. Like for my next place that I live at in the South End. I feel like I'm going to decorate it so different than my house now. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm just getting so inspired. New York, like, inspires me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I know. Wait. I don't have any inspiration. I don't know how... I don't... Th I couldn't live here. Like, I feel like there's so much to do that I feel like... I mean, maybe it's different if you lived here, but I don't know. Well, people don't do this every day, right? Yeah, true. People don't... Or like, do they? Maybe they do. Some of them probably do. Oh my god, like, being a housewife in New York would be fucking exhausting. <laughs> I wish that we spent more time in the West Village. I feel like whenever I come here, I'm always just in Soho. Mm -hmm. Which, like, I like Soho, but you know what I mean? There's so much more to New York than Soho. Mm. I was picturing, like, this trip made me think of, like, Gossip Girl. And, like, I thought that the trees were going to be all, like, different colored. Mm. But that's, like, Upper East Side. I don't think I've seen one tree. I know. Tree, 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 tree. But I love this hotel. But we're going to relax for a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how to get photos from my camera onto my phone. Because I have a little, like, adapter where I plug in my SD card and then I can put it into my computer. But I don't have it with me. And I thought that I brought it, but I don't think that I did. But anyway, oh my god, this looks so good. Look how good that looks. Is that cream cheese? Okay, we're going to lay for a little bit and we're going to just, like, relax. And cuddle. <laughs> Wait, guys. I just opened up my coat. This is the jacket that I got from Acne. It's like not... It looks cream on camera, but it's like a really pale pink. And it's like a belted coat. But I love it. I just love coats. And I swear I'm like a coat collector. But this is my outfit for the game. I'm wearing Chrome Hearts t-shirt, jacket. And my jeans are Natasha Zinko. And then I have on my Travis Scott Jordans. Go Celtics. <laughs> Matchup features the Boston Celtics.